Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna look at an example of a classic application problem in which we can use the law of sines to help us find an important side length. And so in this example, we are told a surveyor wishes to measure the distance across a river. She gathers data and sets up the following triangle to help her and us find the distance across this river. All right, so these two wiggly or squiggly lines are supposed to represent the two sides of the river. And the idea is the surveyor stood up here at point A and then walked down to the bank at point C. The surveyor measured how far it took her to walk to uh, point C from point A, and that's about 347.6 feet. There's this point on the opposite bank of the river from point C, that's what we're calling point B. And so what the surveyor did was they chose that point B opposite of point C, took this angle measurement at their starting position between point C and point B to measure the angle of 31.1 degrees. They then walked down 347.6 feet from A to C and took another angle measurement, this time the angle made between that point across the river and their starting position. The idea is the surveyor was able to gather these three important pieces of information all from this one side of the river without ever having to cross the river. And with those pieces of information, she can now find out how far across the river it actually is. And so in our little picture here, we're trying to find side length A, right? Remember that is the side length opposite of our angle A. And so since we're trying to find side length A, that can guide us towards, we need to use the law of sine here where we have A over sine of A as part of our setup. And so this other piece of information we are given is 347.6 feet. That is opposite of our angle B. So that is our side length B. And so we're gonna have to use the law of sines version where we have A over sine of A is equal to B over sine of B. Notice we don't know our angle B explicitly, but we have enough information to find it. Remember, all the angles have to add up to 180. So if we take a 180 and subtract away from that our two known angles, we'll get our remaining angle of B. So through 180 minus 112.9 minus 31.1. If we take that difference, we should find that angle B is 36 degrees. So with that in mind, we are now ready to set up and plug everything into our law of sines formula. So we're trying to find side length A, so that is our only unknown that should be left over after plugging everything in. We have to divide that by sine of our angle A. That's sine of 31.1 degrees. That's gonna be equal to side length B, or 347.6, divided by sine of our angle B. That's the angle we just found up here to be 36 degrees. All right, so now it's only one step to solve for A with this setup. We have to multiply both sides by sine of 31.1 degrees. And that tells us that side length A is equal to 347.6 times sine of 31.1 degrees divided by sine of 36 degrees. I know this is something we can use a calculator to assist us in evaluating. And when we plug that into a calculator, it looks like we get the value of about 305.5 feet. So now the surveyor knows exactly how wide the river is at that spot. And that's a really good piece of information to know, especially if the surveyor is interested in making like a bridge across the river in that spot. That'll help them determine how many materials she needs to start making that bridge or whatever her project is.